repetition and accumulation serve as common threads throughout Marcy Shivali's work. These principles allow the artist to mold and shape her signature webs and intricate markings in glass, yarn, and pencil and wire. Each of these materials, although possessing different properties, are treated with the same philosophy. The artist creates her sculptures by melting glass rods together, devising intricate structures comprised of interlaced linear forms. The rhythmic process can be compared to knitting and weaving, employing repetitive and somewhat obsessive gestures. Although seemingly expressionless and quiet, these small movements have a presence. Contrary to knitting needles, it is fire that precisely melts and shapes the glass. It is through these repetitive, small movements that something larger is built. The object accumulates until it demands to be seen and acknowledged. Shivali began her wire installation at the start of the pandemic to serve as a form of relaxation and calm during a tumultuous and challenging period. Unlike knitting with yarn, as the piece grew, it did not provide the warmth and comfort expected of traditional knitted work. Instead, the rigid wire embodied a force that yarn does not have. Shivali's practice does not oppose an association with women's work, but instead welcomes it, reinterpreting the fragility attributed to femininity as a strength. For the artist, the repetitive nature of knitting, sewing, and weaving are regarded as meditative practices. These motions occupy the hands and allow the mind to wander. Much like other household chores, folding laundry, peeling garlic, and so on, these repetitive actions culminate in thought that is elusive yet profound. My name is Katrina Bello and I am a visual artist and the founder and operator of North Willow Attic in Montclair in New Jersey. Marcy and I met around 2010 when we were both doing a six-month artist residency that we were awarded at the Gallery of Ferrell Studio Residency Program in Newark in New Jersey. I had been very moved and impressed by Marcy's unique process in carrying, embodying, and interpreting emotional states through her specific choices of materials. Uh, there's paper, glass, every day and found materials like thread, seeds, stones, um, tape, and um, dryer lint. And it's not only because Marcy interprets these emotional states successfully in material form, but the lasting impression of her work to me is the sensitivity and care that saturates all her work. Emotional resonance is an aspect that I seek in works of art because it is something I myself aspire to achieve in my own drawing work. And so that is something that I look into Marcy's artistic practice as my example.